What's up, everybody, man? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another um, video, man. <laughs> and today I'm going to talk about today's NFC wildcard matchup. You had the New Orleans Saints beating the Chicago Bears 21-9 to to advance to the divisional round, yo. Um, before I get into this video, man, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, um, so feel free to DM me, and whenever I get a chance to, I'll uh, get back at you. Uh, come on, I'll let you, boy, yo. Uh, <laughs> shout out to the Saints, man, getting the W, bro. Um, you know, they defense, though it was a very, very lackluster type of performance, man, it was kind of one of those games where you just wanted to get it over with. <laughs> like, like you knew going into this game, Chicago really had no chance really to win this game unless they just forced a bunch of turnovers and, you know, stuff of that nature. When you seen that, you know, they got their guy Moon is out and, you know, just knowing that you just didn't feel Chicago would win this game. <laughs> like, I don't know how else to put it. Um, but shout out to the Saints, man. They did what they had to do, um, getting the playoff win to get some momentum started. Um, Drew Brees was, was, he was okay. He was solid in this game. Alva Kamara, um, he had a quiet 90-something yards rushing. It didn't feel like he really had a big, big day, but still ended up with 90-something yards rushing. Um, Michael Thomas was a welcome sight back for the Saints, getting um getting a touchdown and I think he had like 70 something well uh, 80 something yards receiving um you know but you know shout out to the Saints man that was a good performance man a good win and uh, <laughs> bro for Chicago man it's like <laughs> whims bro <bruh>. like <laughs> that had to be the one of the worst blatant drops that I've ever seen a receiver have, man. Especially when you're considering the circumstances. Like, you don't have weapons like that. Your quarterback isn't any good. <laughs> like, you got to score any way possible that you can score. And they threw him a... That was probably the best throw of Mitchell Trubisky's career, you know, and it just went right through his hands, yo. <laughs> like, those Chicago defensively, they played well. They, um... You know, they competed, man. They held the Saints to 21 points, which is a good thing to do when you're playing, you know, that team in that dome. Um, but, man, Chicago just don't have enough weapons, man. You know, and that's the type of, you know, you knew they just wasn't a good enough team. It's the type of situation where it's like, you know, some people are going to look at it like, this is why some people ain't going to want 17s in the playoffs because you'll get a team like this 8-8 eight eight Chicago team in it. But then, but then again, you get a 7-9 division NFC East winner, you know, in the playoff also, yo. Uh, but, you know, good win for the Saints, man. Like I said, Drew Brees was, you know, was solid. It wasn't great, but he was solid, good enough. The defense was really good, though, you know, it's not really hard to be great against this offense. But good, good win for the Saints. Shout out to them. Now, next weekend is going to be a whole lot of fun. Like, Saints versus Buccaneers, Breeze versus Brady. Though New Orleans smacked them around the first two meetings. And I mean smacked them around where they backhanded them and they, had, they were spitting out blood type of smack around. I'm curious to see how Tom Brady and the Buccaneers come out this game. You know, will, will Breeze and the Saints get back to NFC, beat them for a third time? Meaning, not only did Tom Brady get beat twice, but Tom Brady got beat three times by the same opponent, which would be just incredible. Or does Tom Brady get his revenge, does playoff time get his revenge and go down to New Orleans and get a road win, yo? Like, that, that game is just full of storylines. Um, just full of intrigueness. I just really cannot wait for that game. Um, I just wanted to get this one to get over with so I could look forward to that one, man. Um, Saints and Buccaneers next week, weekend will be extremely, extremely fun. And I can't wait. And I'm looking forward to that one, yo. But for the Chicago Bears, man, um, clearly I think they got to move on from Mitchell Trubisky. Um, where they go from here, I don't know. I guess they go into the draft or 
whatever. But Trubisky clearly is not the answer for them, man. Um, but with that being said, yo, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have Philadelphia Eagles and NFL content throughout the year. Also, this coming Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 Central, 4 Pacific, I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout-out on the live, yo. Y'all should join me. It'll be some good stuff. Until then, yo, y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.